Hi guys, everyone welcome back. Um, so I've just been going through YouTube and I've just realised something that's quite startling. Um, so since I've released the channel, the goldfish community seems to have picked up on this channel and it's driven a lot of traffic to the channel compared to the other topics I've talked about. Um, and one thing I've noticed looking at my videos and the analytics on it is a lot of people are searching on YouTube for why my goldfish turn in black. And I've looked at the top videos on YouTube and none of them touch on the issue, like a really important issue. Um, and I'm trying to get this video out to try and help these people because this is quite a serious issue for goldfish. As much, I just want to get the information out there as plain as day, but like I've kept goldfish for 30 years, I've researched them, I've spent time on big forums as a moderator so i know what i'm talking about guys and a lot of these videos don't even touch on the issue so i'm not going to bother asking about liking and subscribing today i want to get into the video because it's, like, it's quite important to me it's a big issue so right there's a few reasons why goldfish will turn black um some of them aren't as serious and i'll touch on that in a different video i'll, I'll put another video out after this uh, in the next couple of days or so because it's not as important but this is really important so if you're a new fish keeper who's just bought goldfish, you just set up your first tank or whatever, um, and your goldfish is starting to turn black, I've got some news that you need to deal with urgently. But right, I need you to go out and get a test kit, some sort of test kit, and the first thing I need you to test is ammonia, um, and nitrite and nitrate. And the reason why I need you to test that is because I'm guessing you've got a new tank that's just been set up and there's a thing called the nitrogen cycle and what's happening is your goldfish have gone in the tank and they're releasing ammonia into the tank which is highly toxic to fish so what I need you to do is test that and if that is not on zero what I need you to do is what I call a fins water change my nickname 90% water change get the water level right down as low as you can and then fill it back up with fresh water retest it and there's still ammonia in the water you need to do it again guys that ammonia is highly toxic to fish i need to get prime or a conditioner that it says on it detoxifies ammonia and nitrite and nitrate so you're in a position where guys you're either your tank's overstocked or you haven't cycled your tank with what's called the nitrogen cycle and what you're going to have to do if you get an ammonia results in your tank is you need to do massive water changes every day till you get the ammonia out the tank and then dose it with prime or another conditioner that detoxifies ammonia but what happens when you detoxify with a water conditioner is it holds the ammonia in a way that the it's not harmful to goldfish but the beneficial bacteria which you won't have grown if you it's not cycled can't process the ammonia so you still need to do them water changes guys it's, it's a debatable topic we can debate about it all day i'm just asking you to do it for me please and then what you're going to find after about 10 days you're going to grow a type of bacteria i'm not discussing what it is um because there's a few types of bacteria that will grow but what i need to do is after 10 days you'll start to notice nitrite and there's, there's a couple of ways we can deal with that with goldfish um what i'll do is i'll do a quarantine video as part of this series to deal with other reasons why the fish are going black um, and we can use salt to detoxify nitrite but at this present moment in time what i'm saying is do water so you need to do a fishing cycle guys you need to water changes till you get ammonia out and then after about 10 days the ammonia will go away and your nitrites will spike and they'll spike for roughly 20 days after that and you need to do large water changes guys you, you just need to that's how we're going to deal with it um, there isn't really much else people will tell you to dose um prime and stuff but it, it holds in a way that it's just stalling your cycle if you're using prime you're holding the ammonia and nitrite in a way that you buy beneficial bacteria can't process it so if they can't process it they're not eating it and it's still in the water column and it's going to turn back into ammonia or nitrite that's toxic to fish so we need to do that guys that's it. I'll, I, I want to get this video up as soon as possible. Thanks very much.